business news now. We are going over to Mike Apple, who continues to watch the Canadian dollar, which continues to be at a pretty high rate right now. Two-year high, Mike. Yeah, and it's climbing right in the early trade this morning already, Melanie, ahead of the uh, update on August job creation from StatsCan. We'll get the August numbers an hour before the start of today's Toronto stock market trading. Should be a good report. In fact, the 10th consecutive month that the Canadian labor market is expected to show jobs growth. And this is the, one of the reasons why the Bank of Canada earlier this week hiked the overnight lending rate a quarter percent. That kicked off a wave of buying for the Canadian dollar. The Canadian dollar in two and a half days of trading now is up by more than one and a half cents against the U.S. dollar. Doesn't sound like much, but from a trading perspective, that is a massive amount of an upswing in very short order. And of course, when we're talking about the Canadian dollar going up, that hits the export market as well. Now, the job market's good right now. What's it going to be for 2018 when we're talking about a big increase in the minimum wage that is proposed by various provinces, including right here in Ontario? Dollarama, the latest company to say they're looking at automating some jobs faced with higher wage costs. We've already heard from the likes of Metro and Loblaw and Magna International even talking about the changes in the labor force expected next year because of new labor regulations and laws and the hike to the minimum wage. Dollarama coming off what was a huge quarterly profit. Big growth for the discount retailer. Uh, sales up, profit $131 million. Its stock price yesterday hit an all-time record high at the TSX. Uh, Amazon's search for a second North American headquarters. This announcement made early yesterday. Initially, U.S. media just immediately assumed that it would be a U.S. A city that would win the bidding for Amazon's HQ. They're talking about investing $5 billion and creating 50,000 jobs. We've got a lot of Canadian cities in the running, potentially, including right here at home in the GTA. But uh, Halifax, for example, Vancouver, Edmonton, you name it, everybody wants to get in on this. It'll be all about uh, incentivizing Amazon to come to one's hometown to create all of these jobs. But uh, again, could be a huge economic win, and it's going to be very interesting to see who they select. That data breach by Equifax, some Canadians affected the company, though saying or being coy about how many specifically, and the Toronto stock market still looking for its first winning session for September on a four-day losing streak coming in.